ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. Um, this video is all about lights for your pond. So I thought I'd do um, an informative video talking about lighting uh, for waterfalls, internal pond area, um, to tell you about what sort of lights you should be going for and what you shouldn't be going for. It's up to you which way you want to go, but we've got expensive, um, well made versus Chinese uh, cheap stuff you can get on eBay. So we've got an all in pond solutions kit here which comes with three lights and various filters to change the colour. Um, these lights are pretty much standard, they're not fancy, they don't change colour modes, don't change colours unless you uh, put one of these um, filters on. We've got Purple, red, orange, green, and blue, I think. Um, and basically, you just put those on the front of your um, light, like so, and that changes your colour. So, as I said, we, you come with it comes with three stands here. I've got one out here already, which uh, has a ball head, so it can change direction and all you do is you get your light stick it on there like so and there you go yeah that's your light um it's pretty simple it comes with a transformer um is waterproof to a certain degree but you can't have the transformer in your water so it says paraza ac to dc adapter 230 to 240 volt 50 hertz um, and it's using 3.6 watts so it doesn't use a great amount of power um, the actual cable gauge on here to give you an indication on quality is about 8 to 10 millimeters so it's quite a thick cable might not be that easy to hide if you've got a small pond but <clears throat> it's just very simple it's white light and if you just want white light without it changing colour, this is what you want. Um, but there's no fanciness in terms of um, it switching off um, when the sun comes out. So the best way of controlling this is get yourself a plug timer so it comes on for maybe four hours during the night. Um, and that's more or less how you would probably set this up. So here we have one of these um, cheap RGB Chinese made um, lights and obviously it'll have a small sensor because it comes with a remote control in this remote control you can change the colors um, there's no fanciness in terms of its construction if I was to give you an estimate on quality I'd probably say it's probably 3 out of 10 where the all-in pond solution is probably 8 out of 10 in quality build um, you do get a remote control with the Chinese one, but the, the power plug obviously ain't waterproofed. So if you did want to waterproof this for outside, you probably probably would want to put some sort of um, um, plastic over the cable just to waterproof it. Um, in terms of the actual DC power, the, that powers the Chinese one, um, it's just a small plug, which is... Uh, AC to DC power adapter um, 240 volt 50 to 60 Hertz DC 12 volt um, and that plugs into the actual uh, receiver that um, takes a signal from the actual uh, remote control um, it's just basically a touch button to change light model um, and you just plug your, your, your DC plug in there but there's no waterproof in there at, at all I'll show you a closer look at that in a bit um, but I just want to give you an idea on quality um, so obviously the Chinese made one which isn't that well made um, has these suckers underneath so you can att attach it to uh, a tank for, for example or have it in a pond uh, amongst your rocks the thing with the uh, all in pond solution stand here is it's got screw holes so you can screw that into rocks to make it a more permanent feature one thing I have noticed though while trying out 
the uh, RGB um, LEDs on the Chinese made one um, it's no specific brand name but if you go on eBay you'll fork out about £20 for this where the cheapest all-in-pond solution one um, is about £30 uh, there is a more expensive version which is £40 and the likes of Oasi or Bermuda you could be talking about fifty to a hundred pound depending on what brand you go for the Oasi ones are very expensive but made in Germany and they're about a hundred pound um, so I just wanted to briefly talk to you about quality on, on something that you want to put in your pond and to be honest with you my advice is go for the more expensive um, lights now the problem with the Chinese ones that I've noticed is you don't get white light no white light at all there's lots of different colors and if you combine all the colors in theory it should or potentially simulate maybe um yellow or white light but it's not quite white light it's multicolored a little bit so it's not pure white <coughs> the all in pond solution is just white and as i said you just put your filters on various different colors um I'll give you a closer look in a minute, but I just wanted to discuss with you know with you guys out there that do follow some of the pond build videos that I've been doing um, to understand that <clears throat> if you want to have good lighting in your pond, you need to think long and hard about lights. Um, you may think going for something cheap is something you just want a cheap light in your pond, and that's fine. The thing is, what you'll find with cheap Chinese imported uh, lighting kits, um, they're not built to last and they can be dangerous because a child has been known to be electrocuted by uh, cheap Chinese um, electrical equipment such as uh, AC adapters. I do remember something being online regarding a, um, a boy who had a I think it was an old Game Boy and he wanted a, an adapter for it because the old one had stopped working. Got a replacement one from China and unfortunately the kid got electrocuted. So, you know, buying anything electrical from China, you need to be really careful, guys, about whether you want to trust it. Because at the end of the day, day you talk about water here. And if lights and transformers have not been protected and sealed um, using you know different types of uh, waterproofing um, methods and technologies um, you need to be really careful about what you decide to use in your pond because at the end of the day the, uh, the worst case scenario you electrocute yourself um, less serious might be killing your fish and electrocuting them but if, you're, if you've got a large pond, for example, and say you've got quite a lot of expensive large koi fish in, it could be a very expensive mistake to use some cheap lights that could electrocute your fish and kill them. Um, so you need to be very mindful about the quality of lights you put in your pond. So without further ado, let's have a look at the lights in more detail. Uh, closer up for you so you guys can have a good look and uh, hope this will be informative so I'm just going to show you the, the the kit closer up here so you can see what we've got so with the all in pond solution one here you get a nice ball stand there and as I said you can screw into stones um, and keep that solid now it's weighted I'd probably say is about 200 grams there so it should stay in place and all you really do is you attach your light on there um, like so and as you can see it's quite stable and solid and it's very bright it's very powerful and certainly if you look at that for a while it certainly will dazzle your eyes so you've got a waterproof transformer here as well um, and there's three lights in this kit the same as in, in the Chinese one 
and the tiny eyes won't will change color so if we we've got it set to red because you do get a remote control here which has different settings on it but I'll just go through what it can do we've got green blue red and other colors and you just cycle through it to get different colors different options um, and it will give you different colors as you go through the cycle um, now if you want white light you just press white which turns all the lights on however it's not white light quite because it tries to simulate white light so if we get this piece, piece of paper there and I put that on there you see it looks more of a uh, blue now as you bring it back it, it tries to simulate white light um, but if you look closely at, at the light I don't know if you can see that in the video you can see tinges of color even if you was to bring it out here um, if we have that little cord like that you can see I can see multiple colors I can see magenta I can see blue I can see some yellow in there so it's not quite white light now if we take that away we get the uh, all-in-pond solution one white and it is white and the reason I'm making it really important about white light is if you want pure white light um, you know showing the the spectacularness of your waterfall um, you want a pure white light not something that's simulated um, don't get me wrong you may like the multicolors and certainly having blue um, just solid blue would be fine solid green would be fine red is fine um, there's obviously other colors you can do you can either have it flashing like so you can have a strobe effect which is pretty cool fade different colors smooth um, you can turn it up let's see let's get blue back on you can turn it up and down in intensity which is pretty cool um, and that's the majority of what you can do with the controls the remote control obviously it has a battery in there um, and obviously you can turn it off and on at will and that's the benefic benefit of um, having the Chinese version you don't have any sort of remote control um, and realistically speaking the only way you can turn this on and off is by um, turning it on and off really or you could use a timer you can buy timers that can just bring them on for a couple of hours and it'll be fine and obviously you do get these filters so obviously you can attach a filter on there it gives you red got red there we've got orange gives you orange we've got blue 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 um green green will go in there so you can have different colors with these filters which do the same job as the cheap cheap chinese one so i just want to give you a, a breakdown on cost so the all in pond solutions this is the cheapest set you can get uh, there is a more expensive one that ranges uh, that is 40 pound this is 30 pound um, and you do get three lights here as as I can see here same in the cheap Chinese one so the Chinese one you can pr probably pick it up for about 20 pound maybe even 15 pound so it's about half the price of this so that's your main difference and um, to be honest quality it's night and day um, so the all in pun solutions um, well made comes in a nice box like that as you can see um, if we get the Chinese one 
It comes in a standard cardboard box, nothing special about it. So, um, to be honest with you, it's up to you to decide which lighting system you think is best. Um, personally, I think the fact that this is a, a nice transformer, it's uh, properly sealed against the elements. Um, obviously it's coated in, in epoxy plastic to keep it waterproof and lots of t uh, different types of rubber as well attaching it together. Um, <clears throat> and then obviously you've got the Chinese one here. Um, as I showed you earlier on, the um, DC um, ad adapter plug isn't sealed at all. So in terms of waterproofness, it won't last very long at all, this in the elements. I'll be honest with you. Um, this is heavy duty. You know, you, you get like a, a 10 meter cord there. Um, so it certainly, uh, well, according to the box, it says your cord uh, tra length transformer to first lamp is 10 meters. So that's how long it is. Um, in terms of size of the Chinese one, total length might be three meters, if that. And the gauge of the cable is certainly nowhere near what you get in the all in pond solutions. Um, and this is, the all in pond solutions is really good value for money. 30 pound is really cheap for something this quality. Um, all in pond solutions do another uh, version of this, which has a slightly better stands. That's about 40 pound. Um, and the the main, one of the main brands out there, Awazi, um, similar sort of setup will set you back about 100 pound. So I just wanted to give you an idea on pond lights. I hope this video was helpful um, deciding which sort of pond lights you want to go for. I just wanted to warn people um, about the Chinese ones. Um, while they look nice, the one thing it's lacking, in my opinion, is white light. Because there's nothing there that is getting you the white light. Don't get me wrong, there's lots of different colours. It may be extremely nice to have in your pond for a while. But I really suspect that something like this will, will not last long in your pond. If I were to give you an estimate of life shelf life on this, i say you might get a year out there. Um, these, I'd say they probably will last um, probably three years. I have a Black Don, um, as you may already know, I've done a video on it already, a Black, uh, Black Don Indoor um, Half Moon Pond. And the LED light on that has been going strong for a year and is working fine. Uh, no problems with the electricals at all. Very similar in quality to this. Um, so, you know, when you're thinking about lights for your pond, you want to have a few things in mind. Safety, reliability, um, how much water will it consume, um, and can it harm your fish? That's what the main things you need to think about. Um, because at some point, what if one of these cables um, was to erode away? You know, maybe a fish was to start eating up uh, this thin cable and suddenly you find all your fish dead because they've been electrocuted and yet something this heavy gauge they're not going to really get through that thick rubber around that cable so i just wanted to give you a, a new video about this um just to a little add you you do get some nice rubber suckers that go on the stands um because obviously they've got holes that go around as i said you can attach these or you can screw this directly into stone, brick, boulders, whatever you like, just to keep them in place. So I just thought I'd do a video all about lights because there's not a lot of information about LED lights online. Um, and I do like to do videos on things that people haven't really touched on. Um, but it's up to you to decide what you want. But these Blagden, um, sorry, these All-in-Pond Solution 
LED lights are really powerful as you can see and uh, hopefully I'll bring that close to the lens so you can see uh, it's probably washing the lens out because it's that bright um, if we get this and bring that close to the lens it's washing it out a little bit as well I don't know if you can see it better if I pull it away um, but you know let me just keep it there and try and do different colours so you can see um, the one thing I will say about the Chinese one is the receiver isn't um, waterproof or hardly has any waterproofing at all um, so the receiver will need to be kept out of the water and if you do keep it outside you'll probably want to waterproof the DC cable connections somehow but I don't think it's built for reliability for outside um, you can use these for indoor aquariums as well no problem um, but you just need to be careful um, about using something that's not really designed for the outside even though it may be labelled as being a, a pond light um, it's up to you to decide which system you would prefer me personally I want something reliable well made solid gives me pure white light unlike the Chinese ones that try to simulate it with RGB lights which don't really work and do it justice so I just hope this video was helpful in deciding what sort of light you want in your pond and I hope these videos are helpful